But my concern with it is this whole situation uh, in Ukraine, it's not going away anytime soon. This didn't just start in February this year, which is what many people think it did. That was an escalation point. This has actually gone on for years, albeit now obviously ramped up. And Putin is, of course, messing around with Nord Stream 1. Mm -hmm. In my view, this is going to get much worse. So when you start capping prices of households, there is a risk in my mind anyway that consumers... We'll then start thinking, well, you know what? I used to turn my radiator yeah. off at this time so, in the morning. Now I'm not. So your demand is so, going to surge exactly. just as supply is getting strangulated. Yeah. So what you do is you make it more progressive by having a cheaper price for using a certain amount of energy. I'm talking about domestic consumers now, not business, yeah. that you absolutely can't do without. And then the more energy you consume the more you pay for it. So if you want to heat your swimming pool or heat your billiard room or whatever, you pay more for that and you have some kind of a social tariff whereby a reasonable amount of energy that you need to get by on is charged at a certain amount, capped at a certain amount, and then excessive use of energy, uh, the, uh, the price is greater. But what if I'm and a low-income... And that way you make it fairer, but you also, exactly as you say, you encourage people... To economise. But what if I'm a low-income person, yeah. I don't know, that's got a disabled child who relies yeah. on dialysis? Yeah. So I've got constantly yeah. so you can allow rolling... For yeah. we but, have, we have, but how am I going to allow for that if, if a, your system is? Well, the thing because, is, you have a subtler, because you have a subtler system than I'm just you know, caricaturing the basics of it. Yeah, but also but you then... Can, you then can start to allow for you that. Do, you do have to look then at uh, then where there is serious... Uh, could be serious problems... I would then okay. expect, whether it's the social services, whoever it may be, the departments, to step in to make you sure. Have to. Uh, and you I think have that to. I think that will happen yeah. in any event. Uh, well, but can I can I just so. can yeah. I just come back because mm. there is no quick solution on this, and we no. know that. No, there is. And I think obviously when we, as we said, we hear this um, plan tomorrow. I think obviously we're trying to mitigate it as as best we can. But this is where it brings me back to. We're going to have to get our energy supply improved. We're going to have to get more in the future. Yep. Uh, it's not going to happen overnight. So, you know, I was very pleased that we've signed off Sizewell C, and it's going to take some years to get on stream. Uh, the Rolls-Royce nuclear pods, that's all been agreed, so that's going to come on stream. Okay. And then if it can just come back to shale gas, and I'm not saying that, as I said, this is a fundamental answer, but if you go back to 2014, I'll just touch on the sort of Russian interference that took place. It was actually Anders Fogh Rasmussen, who was the Secretary General of NATO, former, former um, Danish Prime Minister, and he warned Europe at the time that the sort of interference uh, in what a lot of countries were thinking that were, would be allowed to do it or, or had, had, you know, had the, the right sort of uh, rock, so to speak, uh, including the UK, that they needed to be very careful about the, about the interference. Um, and so, of course, we did. We, we, we sunk a couple of wells. We had all of these protests going on very often, not from the people that lived in the area. Um, and the whole point is, if we were able to do this, what we have said is that we need to then be looking at the people that live in these areas where we can actually extract shale gas, we can frack. They could benefit from cheaper energy. There's certainly ways that you could look at this. We're looking at job creation, which is absolutely huge.